I'm going to show you how to do a sound wave or like a ripple effect. Um, so what you want to do is grab your clip and grab some music. On the music I have selected a beat where I want this to happen. Um, so you'll be able to hear it now. Like that. So I want this effect to happen between here and I want it to end here. So what you want to do is grab your clip, split it on these markers by pressing the S key. And by putting markers you can press the N key. Create two video tracks. So there's one, there's two, and what you want to do is go down to that video that you've just cropped or whatever you want to call it, split, hold control, drag and drop it up above, and the same for the top one. You can move this top one out of the way for now just so you can see the, the ripple effect. So what you want to do is go to BCC, uh, go down to ripple, there is another one that's called ripple -E. Um, which is actually like a glowing one and um, that could be pretty cool to use but just use the ripple for now drag the default on and what you're going to see is this giant ripple here you want to turn down well this is entirely up to you i just like to turn down the radius and the height um, and you can change all these wave width um, i like to make it a little bit thinner like that um, but obviously the height um, depends on the actual video so I'm just gonna change the height down and change the radius down a little bit so that's it there what we want to do is um, track the person it's going to be going behind so this center marker here needs to be about center of this person here so go on to center point hit the animation or the animate and you get this little um, timeline down here so you want to first of all drag it on the object or the person scroll across I mean you can go all the way to the end because um, it should track it pretty neatly just from that uh, okay and then drag it back to the center if he has moved so what it'll do is it'll just track his movement like that so literally all we need to do now is go to the top video track move this across and as you can see it disappears you want to hit mask might have to move this up hit mask and we'll, we'll zoom in first like so hit mask um, I'm not going to do it too neatly but um, you know the better that you do it the better the effect will look even if it is only a very short effect so um, you just literally mask all around him or around the object whatever you're actually trying to do it on um, and then you'll see how the effect comes to life in a few seconds um, we want to then change the feather type once this is done so if you go down to your feather type now now that's done click out and then just boost it up one just so it gives you some smooth edges and you see how it's behind the actual rider now and because it tracks uh, the ripple tracks the rider it's gonna um, look a lot better and what you have to do now is you go across either a keyframe or two um, and you want to uh, right click delete all um, and then remask this um, what I like to do is go and um, get my little mouse button here and then just simply move it it is cheating um, but you know it's just easier isn't it um, keep moving across you can move this again keep going across and we want to fade the effect out to make it look just a little bit neater and keep moving this I'm only going to keep moving it just for the tutorial sake so I don't have to keep masking like so and then I'm going to fade the effect out about halfway and I'll fade out my mask as well just so it's a little bit neater so you'll be able to um, you'll be able to see how this effect comes about now so if I just do a quick pre-render like that see it's a pretty cool effect like I said you can adjust all of the ripple effects if you want it's entirely up to you um, here's another one um, like I said with the the other ripply effect um, it works just as well um, instead you actually just have to change the wave width quite a bit um, the intensity and um, we need to change the size as well um, but yeah that's basically it anyway um, 
if you can comment rate subscribe guys obviously that will help me out a lot um but that's basically it for today's video um and i hope you guys like it so catch you guys later